Hello, so this is day 11 of our public harness and um, day two of our holiday. Um, and it's actually been a little bit of a drama um, today, so this morning of our day two. And we ended up having to take Max to hospital um, because we had a problem with his harness. So um, when he woke up this morning, I noticed that on his right leg, which was his worst side, the harness kept slipping behind his knee. So um, the harnesses are meant to um, sort of sit directly over the knee down into the foot so they hold the feet in a frog abducted position so sort of knees up out to the side um, but the the strap was pushing on the inside of his knee which was essentially pushing his leg out to the side but where his foot is still held in with the, the booty his leg and foot and ankle and everything was being held in a really um dodgy position and I kept trying to pull the um, strap back up but it kept sort of pushing back out to the side and I couldn't get it to stay there um, so I tried to call um, our hospital which is the Royal Surrey um, and see if I can get through to somebody bearing in mind this is sort of 8am on a Sunday morning um, and I managed to get through to an on-call um, orthopaedic registrar not specifically um, someone to do with paediatrics but um, somebody that sort of had an idea what it was and the first thing that he said to me was if the harness has slipped and needs readjusting you need to go to the hospital um, obviously I explained that we were away um, and he sort of said you know the, um, the harness needs looking at so now I'm panicking because you know our second day in Spain we don't speak Spanish or anything like that and um, we do obviously have holiday insurance um, which I'd taken out before Max was fitted in the harness thankfully um, so we go down to the local hospital and they um, don't have a orthopedic um, area or somebody that even sort of knows anything about orthopaedics just sort of general doctor and um, so they sent us away to a private hospital so we trotted off to a private hospital um, and thankfully somebody there was able to see us and I'm sort of trawling through photos of Max when he first got the harness fitted to show them what it did look like and then a, a recent photo that I'd taken this morning to show them what sort of has happened um, and how Max's leg was now um, essentially bent the wrong way um, to be honest we don't know if it's something's happened to the harness or where he's grown the suspension is now too tight and his leg just isn't fitting inside the harness um so the lady that we saw at that hospital sort of said you need to see a pediatric traumatologist um which i presume is sort of the area that I look after our equivalent of orthopedics um but they didn't have anybody that was available so they said we needed to go to a hospital which is about 40 to 50 minutes away um, at this point I decided to um, post a picture in one of the DDH support groups I'm in um, and I'm going to link which group it is just in the um, description because I found it to be the best group to, to join it's been fantastic and the support I've got from that group has been amazing so I posted a photo of Max's leg in that group um, and within I don't know, 10, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. I can't even remember. It was a bit of a blur now. I was so stressed. Um, people have been commenting back saying um, if they'd had that experience before or a similar experience with their harness and um, gave me some tips and suggestions to try um, to, to fix it. Obviously, each hospital gives different um, guidance in terms of looking after your child in the harness. So we were specifically told not to remove the harness, not to remove the booties. Obviously, the positioning of the hips is um, really important to how the socket develops. So I, I didn't want to remove them, but sort of I know ladies that um, have babies fitted in harnesses and their hospitals gave them instructions on how to remove the booties and put the legs back in so um, I got lots of tips and lots of um, suggestions um, in the meantime I managed to speak to somebody at the Royal Surrey um, and he gave me an email address to send a photo of Max to given I'd explained the situation I think he could tell how um, stressed I was you know we'd only had we've only had the harness for just over a week and as I've said on here I wasn't really given much information about how to look after him or, or stuff and I was sort of you know just explaining that all to him so he kindly gave me his email address and I sent him a photo um, and then I got a 
call back from him and an email actually a few hours after that um, saying that he'd spoken to a consultant who has some experiences with the Pavlik harness and um, they said that I should just try and just slip the strap back over the leg and even though it does keep slipping to whenever I see it's slipped just to pull it back round and make sure that the hips are um, abducted and the legs are at a 90 degree angle at all times um, so that's what we're going to have to do until I can um, get back to the UK and you know book in to see somebody at our hospital um, had we have had the harness before we booked this holiday I wouldn't have booked a holiday um, it was only because it had been booked for some time um, and you know our only other option was to cancel and when we got the harness fitted I did explain to our doctor that we saw our physio who fitted the harness or whoever it was that we were going away whether she thought we should cancel and she said not to you know there's not much that can go wrong with the harness supposedly but you know now I don't think that's strictly accurate um so we came away and you know within 24 hours of being here we'd had a problem um, so for now, I'm just um, re put, uh, uh, um, refitting isn't the right phrase, but sort of um, adjusting his legs as soon as I see it slipped. Um, and I'm doing lots and lots of checking on him. He does seem a little bit uncomfortable, if I'm honest, and that is causing me a little bit of stress. Um, he's crying in a way that I haven't heard him cry before. Um, and I don't know if that's just because the harness is too tight. Um, something somebody told me, a bit of advice they'd got was, as long as they're still moving both the legs, which he is, um, then there isn't anything um, strictly to worry about. And the registrar did say the same thing to me when he called, um, it, because apparently if they stop moving one of the legs, it can be because there's some pressure on the nerve or something, it could cause some um, nerve damage, which God, that just even thinking about that is really really scary so I'm um, just being extra extra vigilant um but yeah I it's been it's been a really stressful day when it happened um but I guess that's just kids really it's going to be stressful when you come away anyway let alone when you've got something else to um contend with um what else have we been doing um Oh, that's it that's about it really my mind's gone completely blank just through um the worry of that but um i am conscious that we're here for you know another five days and babies grow really quickly he could grow a tiny little bit more make it even more uncomfortable for him um i'm just awaiting a call back from our physiotherapist to get an appointment so as soon as that's done i'm hoping it's going to be maybe monday um of next week which is earlier than the appointment you should have had um, but yeah, we'll just have to see what happens. Um, I'll keep you posted because now this holiday seems like it's going to get a little bit more interesting. But uh, yeah, we'll see. Catch you later.